have a show that is going to um wow you with a bunch of lights or uh stuff like that it's more about our content and what we put out for people just as the band has developed over the years it's changed a little bit and that's another reason why i'm excited about this project so i was able to uh connect through fellow musicians over the years uh, just played um, professionally for a while then got out of that and um, come back to a s small community called Portland, Indiana. And, uh, but was very fortunate to be able to connect with um, musicians that were locally homegrown and had done different things um, and had played with them over the years. And um, there was one uh, in particular uh, that was actually, uh, she was looking for someone to play some drums for a project that she was working on. And there was some relationships there that we had um, and got to do that project. And through that, uh, I got to spend a little time with Tom. Uh, Tom was also part of that project. And it was just something there was there was a very good connection for both of us right from the beginning. Uh, he jokingly calls me like brother from the other mother. But there's so much similarities between us. It's it's spooky. <laughs> um, and I think those sitting in here would uh, agree. And, um, and we're both fathers. We're both musicians. Um, we're both grandfathers now. Grandfathers now. Um, and we have a heart for God. And I think, honestly, that's kind of where the, we, through music, we started to get into a much deeper uh, friendship. Um, you know, we've had our, our challenges and our marriages and our kids and all that stuff. And if you want to get to know someone well, you stick them in a van with three young children and you travel across the United States and um, you get down to being real. So that's how I've become part of this group. Um, it's been a tremendous joy. There's times that I get to be up with the kids late at night when we're traveling down the road or then I'm sitting there with Tom down the road. So I was stuck in the middle, I think, a lot. <laughs> um, so uh, I, it was a blessing from God that I'm a drummer and he stuck me with the people that I needed to be with to keep me on the, on the right path and focused as well. And funny story about Eric. I knew that I knew that he was part of the family, not just the band, but the family. When I was sleeping in the backseat of the van one night, and that's when my wife was still traveling with us. And it was me and Johnny and his sisters and, and my wife, Lisa, and Eric. And Lisa's driving and Eric's co-piloting. And I wake up to them arguing. <laughs> <laughs> He's still there when you can't see him. He hears your prayers when you can't hear him. 